The quiet supersonic technology aircraft is America's newest experimental plane. A time-lapse video released by NASA in early 2020 shows the progress of the X-59, which has been referred to as the X-59 supersonic Frankenstein. Its assembly is using scavenged parts from iconic aircraft such as the F-16 Fighting Falcon, the NASA T-38 Talon, and the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk. Designed by the Lockheed Martin Skunk Works team, the aircraft will fly faster than the speed of sound over land and reduce loud sonic booms to a mere whimper. The project also hopes to reopen the door for commercial supersonic speeds after a travel ban that's prohibited them for almost 50 years. In a partnership with NASA, the Lockheed Martin Advanced Development Program team, Skunk Works, is developing America's latest experimental aircraft. The X-59 Quiet Supersonic Transport, or Quest, was first conceived in 2018, when NASA awarded Lockheed Martin a $247.5 million contract to design and build an aircraft capable of supersonic speed without a supersonic boom, a loud explosive noise caused by the shockwave of an aircraft traveling faster than the speed of sound. In the late 1960s, the United States and several other countries began developing their own commercial transports capable of supersonic flights. However, due to the high amount of noise the aircraft generated, the Federal Aviation Administration banned all commercial supersonic flights over land in 1972. The ban was the main reason behind the Trans-Ocean Concorde supersonic flights from 1976 to 2003 becoming unsustainable in the long term. The NASA Lockheed venture known as the Low Boom Flight Demonstrator Project hopes to reach supersonic speeds without the sonic boom that disturbs civilians. Since it's an experimental plane, it is not a prototype design for a commercial airliner and will never carry passengers, but it will help deliver data for further research and models. According to Lockheed Martin, the X-59 will fly at, quote, 55,000 feet at a speed of about 940 miles per hour and create a sound about as loud as a car door closing, 75 perceived level decibel, instead of a sonic boom. To reduce cost, risk, and construction time, America's newest X-plane will feature recycled parts from retired U.S. Air Force planes, such as landing gear from an Air Force F-16 Fighting Falcon, a cockpit canopy from a NASA T-38 Talon, and a control stick from a Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk. The alternative option of designing the X-59 from the ground up would add additional years of research, testing, and risk. Millions of extra dollars would also be spent on the project. Because of this, even before the aircraft takes its first test flight, the Frankenstein-style experimental plane is already one of a kind and has a lot of history attached to it. These spare parts were scavenged from the largest aircraft storage and preservation facility in the world, inside the davis monthan Air Force Base in Arizona. Located in the Phoenix suburbs, the base is home to the 309th Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group, often called the Boneyard. It has over 4,400 retired or stored aircraft from all military branches. Because there is very little humidity in Arizona that could corrode metal, the planes can sit outdoors or inside hangars for years with little to no deterioration. They are ready to be repaired and brought back to service or picked apart to utilize their functional parts. After selecting the necessary parts, they were delivered to the Lockheed facilities in Palmdale, California. On March 11, 2020, the NASA website shared a time-lapse video of the Skunk Works team working on the X-59 assembly. Even though using repurposed parts and putting them together to create a new plane comes with its own set of challenges, the practice is not new, either for experimental aeronautics planes or space research and exploration. Between 1984 and 1991, two X-29 aircraft flew successfully over 200 times. Their design included the main landing gear of an F-16 Fighting Falcon and the forward fuselage and nose landing gear of a Northrop F-5 fighter. Sharing components is a standard practice in NASA. In the early 1970s, the agency saved money and time using a hatch from the 1960s Gemini program as an airlock door on the U.S.'s first space station. Skylab was launched into space in 1973 and visited by three different crews. 
Employing used parts in the design of new aircraft joins the best of both worlds. According to Craig Nickel, the X-59 Endeavor's project manager, quote, The X-59 is designed so that as it flies faster than sound, any sonic booms that reach the ground are so quiet that they can barely be heard, if at all. So while we're pushing technology in terms of the X-59's overall shape and configuration, at the same time, we can take advantage of using reliable systems from aircraft we know or have experience with and install those. The Quest project is expected to be finished sometime in 2021, after which Lockheed Martin will run flight tests for one year. Between 2022 and 2023, Lockheed will deliver the X-59 to NASA, which will then start preparing flights that will cruise at 1,500 kilometers per hour above civilian communities to test the effect of its supersonic boom. FAA and international aviation regulators will then have survey data to draft a global standard for supersonic aircraft noise, hopefully ending a ban that has been in place for too long.